Welcome back to the JSFL. We are here in week 10 at the 1 p.m. game. Other one, this is the 7 and 2 New Orleans Musicians against the 6 and 3 Detroit Power. We're here in Detroit for this one as the new league's leader in standings is going to Detroit. Detroit having a great win against Seattle last week. The former team leader, league leader, they're hoping to keep a streak now going. They won one last week and now they're trying to win another. New Orleans, going to be a challenge for them. They faced off in week one in New Orleans and the musicians came out victorious. That was a great game on a Monday night primetime. But this time we're at a 1 p.m. game. But the revenge is maybe still the same. Start looking for some blood today. Here comes out Sean Richardson and some of the other starters from Detroit. As we're getting almost ready to kick this one off. As we go to our key moments. And that's what we will get our started with. We have a red zone opportunity for the Detroit Power on the first drive. New Orleans needs to stand strong, but Detroit's trying to power through and get an early mark on this game. First and ten now for the for the power. This one, Richardson throwing it, and that's Hugh Brooks catching it. First thing goal now for this Detroit team is that one was Hugh Brooks. His first catch of the day for 13 yards. Joseph Davis going to be on Brooks. Brooks has the advantage on Davis, but only by a little bit. Richardson looking to throw. Richardson scrambling out, and that's the ends. Oh no! Stopped at the one they didn't say he got in the second and goal now for the biz. I mean for the power. My bad. Technically, the businessman in the waiver playing currently right now because these were both one o'clock games. Never to see the other one. But I'm not gonna say. Anything. Second and goal now for the power. This one, they're little, and he's bringing it in. Touchdown. Detroit Power. They're little. It's 13th touchdown of the season. And he just keeps chugging along in that MVP. It looks like he's going to be the MVP. And there's another run. That gives him some more points. They're little. And the Detroit Power get a touchdown on the first drive. For the musicians, now they get a red zone trip of their own. A little longer drive, but it's there. So Seth Skies and company trying to get into the end zone now with the nine. The corners have a big advantage on this um New Orleans team, but they're shifty. As you saw, Carl Graves beat a pretty good corner last week, and Byron Baxter on the final overtime play. Last two games for in New Orleans have been overtime, being last week against the Gila Monsters and then against. No, wait, the way it was not overtime. Seven was an overtime game. So, two of their last three games before this were overtime games that they won. First and goal. This one, Castles. Johnson, to the outside, gained a few yards, going out at the four. Second and goal now for New Orleans after the four yard run the five yard run by Old Castles. See what they call here on second and goal. One minute left to go in this first quarter. This one Old Castles again, not gonna break through the line as he gets pushed back a yard. Great defense there by Terrence Chandler. The right outside linebacker. One of the weaker parts of that linebacking core, but Terrence Chandler, they're gonna make the stop that time. Someone got an initial hit on Castles, but Chandler finished the job. I think that was Nicholas Stone. So 
Third and goal now for the musicians at the five. Let's we'll see what they do here. Guys want to push him to the end zone, can they though? Third and goal. Steps guys. Run around the pocket, he's gonna go. He shuts up a tackle. Guys, oh, he gets hit. Jesse Mendez to get in there. He looked like he was going down, but... Alright, that wasn't Mendez. Who hit him? Mendez just touched him. Can't even give half a sack credit to Mendez. Both with the other half, we'll have to look quick here. It was, oh, nope, not player. Never mind. If the field goal at the 11, we're going to have to try this. And it is up, and it is good. 3-7 here in Detroit. As both drives get a score. One of them is a touchdown. We don't do third downs until the second half. Second half yet. Here's a third down in the second half. Third and eight now for the musicians. It's been low scoring ever since those first two drives. We have third and eight now for this New Orleans team. Down by one they are. No one thought this would be defensive, maybe a few people, but not many. No plenty of time left to go in this game, though, for it to be offensively. Guys and company on third and eight. Let's see what they call here. 16 rush, 10 pass. It's been a rush offense, like usual. Guys, draw with Castles. Castles pushes for the first down. I oh, know that's Leonard Roy. So they're giving Roy a few snaps. Okay. And they get a touchdown in the two point conversion. And now it's Detroit's turn as they're at the 24. So they're spreading out between Owen Castles and Leonard, Leonard Roy. Now third and nine for Detroit. What did they call here at the twenty-four yard line? Did you get to that sixteen? Or pass to the fifteen? Detroit looking for a Taylor Little going nowhere. Tries to think Taylor Little can make some space, but he goes nowhere and it's fourth and nine. Gets back to the sticks. So they go for field goal and now it's an eleven point game. So fourth and two and Detroit's going for it. They need two scores. Get back to this one. A touchdown, two point conversion, and a field goal. As we're here at the top of the fourth quarter, they want to get at least one of those scores right now, and they're hoping it is a touchdown. New Orleans is trying to take a little, trying to stretch this lead as far as they can. Detroit does not want to lose twice to this team in the same year. They're trying to push for this playoff thing without Minneapolis catching back up to them. And if they win this game, they're gone. Minneapolis cannot catch up. Little bouncing into the outside. Fourth and two, he gets there. Taylor Little bringing it to the 29 yard line. He's 100 yards now on this game.
That's a great play there by Detroit, using your strengths. Maybe New Orleans was thinking there was a run to the inside, but bouncing it to the outside, that's great. It's risky on fourth down, but it's great. Oh, but it goes nowhere, as now New Orleans somehow got the ball, and it's third and three. There's a lot of time right now, and you gotta be thinking, Detroit needs plays now. That defense for Detroit is... The turnovers, they are best in the league, so turnover would be great now for Detroit. The best in the league turnovers, but I don't think I've... There might... They might have had a turnover today, but I haven't seen one yet. Have two interesting one o'clock games so far. If you turn on to the New York Bisman and Miami Wave game, at this point of the game, they're probably 14-14. Guys, we're going to throw. Gets this one out. Hit down by the Detroit defense, and that one's not going anywhere. Domingo Gonzalez only gets a yard. That was Carol Allison, the free safety to come up there. So now it's Detroit scores a field goal. Get this drive. And Detroit has one timeout and a minute 33 to score a touchdown and get a two-point conversion. So this is the drive at home, and they need to win it here. Against the best team in the league, standings-wise, they need to win. Seventh best defense in the league. Can this offense, which is ranked third, win? Some people said this would be the game of the week. And we're down to a final two minute warning drive. Less than two minutes and one timeout. Richardson looking to throw. Right now it's time in the pocket. He's throwing down deep. Launching it. Wide open. That's Taylor Little. No one accounted for the halfback. Touchdown. Detroit Power. Taylor Little, 75 yards. A long bomb. No one saw that halfback sneak by the 99 overall safeties, and he went for a touchdown. What a play, and what a catch for Taylor Little. One of the biggest games of this Detroit team for the season, and he comes out big. No, they didn't get the two-point conversion. So the onside kick will determine the fate of the Detroit power. If they don't get this, it's the game over. All New Orleans would have to do is kneel the clock out. Oh, that's unbelievable. They missed the two point conversion. That's a great play by Little. Play one of the biggest of this Detroit season. Onside kick is recovered by New Orleans. And this one is going to be New Orleans till the end. What a great game here it was in New Orleans, but that's how it ends. As Detroit loses this one 21 to 19. And what a game we got here in Detroit. And how close that was. Only a two point conversion missed by Detroit, and that one could have been something different. And this is starting to be a rivalry between these two teams, but it's been dominated by New Orleans this season. And one of the biggest rivalries. Maybe we'll see these teams, two teams in the playoffs against each other. But the, or maybe 
Still not, those playoffs aren't secure for the Minneapolis. Still behind them now. They're playing next in this 415 game, Pirates and the Fishers. So we'll see how that one turns out. But for now, this is Detroit, and we'll see you at the 415 game in Minneapolis. Because it's only a few hundred miles away from here in Detroit. I'll see you guys there.